Tonight, new closures inside Yosemite National Park. This afternoon, officials announced both Yosemite Valley and Wawona will be shut down because of heavy smoke from the Ferguson fire. That blaze continues to burn about two miles from the park. The latest numbers show it's burned more than 36,000 acres, but crews are making progress. It's now about 25% contained. We do have live team coverage for you tonight. Chief Meteorologist Marina Jerica is standing by with our hot pinpoint forecast. But first, CBS 47's Angelica Lalani joins us live from inside the Yosemite National Park on the valley floor. Angelica. Well, Ken, if you take a look behind me, you might be able to see Yosemite falls through the layer of smoke. Park officials say this is the first time they've had a close down the, for a fire since 1990. July is the park's busiest month. Hundreds of folks are visiting here from all over the world. Now they, along with some employees, will be leaving. A thick blanket of smoke fills the air in Yosemite National Park. There's no point in staying here because we've been breathing this since the 13th. As the Ferguson fire continues to grow, conditions are now heavily affecting the surrounding environment. So this was a tough go. The this morning in a public meeting, park officials announced on Wednesday they will be temporarily shutting down Highway 41 into Yosemite, closing the valley floor and Wawona until possibly Sunday. Based upon the continued uh, inversion and in the air quality and the fact that firefighting operations are in the park, we've made the decision. This decision comes just months after shutting down the valley floor due to possible flooding. Wendy Harrell, a longtime resident and park employee, was just evacuated from El Portel. Now she's wondering how long it's going to last. As far as I know, I'm laid off. For park officials staying during the closure, these blue air purifiers will be set up in different places for them to use. But this is my favorite place. As for visitors like Sean Shea and his entire family who just arrived yesterday from Southern California, they're now making other arrangements. We're here and now we're going to leave. So going over to Cambria now, we just booked four rooms over there. Again, someone staying in any hotels or campgrounds tonight are being asked to leave by noon tomorrow. For those who uh, have reservations, can expect an email or phone call from Park Services canceling them. Now, visitors tell me that they did get a refund, and park officials say that Highway 120 West through Tuolumne Meadows will remain open for now. For now, live in Yosemite National Park, I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.